Hi! I got all the new releases for April and I let my kids open them this morning. They were super excited, so I'm going to just quickly show them to you. This was Kason's number one favorite book, of course, because it's a sticker book and he loves sticker books. So this one's all about travel. And he was actually really excited and really cute when he was looking through the stickers and he found a cruise ship and he said, hey, you're going on a cruise ship. So. He really loves sticker books. These ones are really fun. Just all different travel scenes. So here's at the port. Here's on the road. Just very simple. They have like a little bit of dialogue to them. But they're mostly just very easy sticker books. Let's add the pictures. Then there is a first coloring book about the jungle. So I really love these books how most of the picture is already colored and then you just add in so it's not such a daunting task it's not just like a white uh, white and black picture it already has some of it in there already so you just finish coloring in the parrots and the monkeys the dolphins and crocodiles all sorts of fun things all jungle themed then there's a first reading level three book. So it's the gingerbread man book, but this one comes with a CD. So you can listen to the story or read it or follow along. So of course, everybody knows the story of the gingerbread man. This is a pretty easy book to read. Nice graphics to go along with it. So it's quite long. Then, I was so excited about this one, the first xylophone book. I just love it. Um, my kids opened it up and they played me some tunes today, and I'm not going to lie, I had to take my turn and play too. Um, my family is very musical and they were complaining that it's out of tune, so that is a warning to you all. If you're really, really particular about how it's going to sound, um, I'm, I'm not sure if I would guarantee the quality of it, just because I know that mine is out of tune. I uh, am pretty tone deaf, so um, it, the sound doesn't really bother me, but my whole family was complaining about it. Um, lots of really great songs, so very um, familiar tunes and easy to play. So I actually had a lot of fun playing with this this morning. So we have like um, row, row, row your boat, the Grand Old Duke of York, Frère Jaca, Old MacDonald, the Mulberry Bush, Hey Diddle Diddle, London Bridge is Falling Down, Jingle Bells, and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So super fun. Oh, my daughter was super excited about this one. Listen and learn first German words. She just loves languages, and she just thinks these books are so fun. So she instantly had it out. She was trying to learn all the, like, the different animals and bodies, body parts. And then there's um, things that go and animals, food, clothes, at home, and bedtime. So you just put the card into the slot and make sure it's turned on of course push go Die Fahrzeuge. Das Taxi. Der Ballon. Der Zug. Das Fahrrad. so I don't know German I don't know how close um, that sounds I don't know if it sounds funny but my daughter just loved it and she spent a really long time um, listening and trying to practice and say the words to it then we got some new wipe clean books. I am super excited about this one, wipe clean counting. I was going through it. It's great. So it's to help teach counting one to 20 through just really, really fun activities. So I think I'm gonna have to keep this one for casing because it's pretty fun. So add one dot on the sunshade. So this is all about one, this is all about two, and then there's counting. So you're finding these images in the pictures. So it goes one to five, and then it stops and kind of does like a little recap of one to five. And then it goes from six to 10, and then it does a little bit of a recap about one to 10. 
and then it goes 10 to 15 and 15 to 20. So if you're not familiar, you just take the white clean marker out and you can do all the activities and then you just erase it and start over again. So wipe clean counting, this will be a good one. Then we also got two more wipe cleans for spelling. So we have spelling for ages five and six and ages six to seven. So just um, really fun but simple tasks to help you learn how to spell all of these words. My kids really love these types of activity books. Anything with a wipe clean marker I think just makes it fun. And then there's a little quiz at the end. And at the end of all of these ones in this series, there's always some um, secret notes for grown-ups to just help you um, teach whatever skill you're working on. So this is spelling. We got all sorts of math ones, and grammar and punctuation. Oh, the next thing, the Usborne Children's Encyclopedia. So this is just a mini version. There's a full-size version like this, and this is just a mini version. So I'll just read the back to you. It says, did you know that a pinhead as hot as the sun would kill you from 150 kilometers away? Or that people speak Mandarin, that more people speak Mandarin than any other language in the world? This miniature edition of the best-selling Usborne Children's Encyclopedia is fascinating, fun, and packed with amazing facts. It covers a vast scope of information from the earth, its plants and animals, to its people and their discoveries. What makes rainbows? Why do people wear clothes? How do birds fly? Don't panic. The answers to these questions and more are inside this clear and simple book. So this one is super fun. This would be a great one to keep in your purse or in the car for long rides and just sit there and learn all of these cool little facts about the world. So this is a keeper for us too. I'll probably end up keeping all these. Um, Llamas in Pajamas and Other Tales. We already have this book. They've just added a CD. So this one's great. This is one of our favorite ones actually. It's a phonics reader collection that has llamas in pajamas, goat in a boat, raccoon on the moon, bug in a rug, kangaroo at the zoo, and mole in a hole. And then at the end, there's really fun um, puzzles and games. So just little comprehension puzzles. Some of these are our favorite phonics reader stories. The illustrations are so much fun. Then we've got Meerkats. This is from the beginner series. Kason was super excited about this. I didn't even know he knew what a meerkat was, but apparently he's heard the word before because he was pretty excited. So it has a nice little table of contents and it shows you lots of beautiful pictures and just lots of random facts about meerkats. This series has over, I want to say like over 65 different titles in it. Just perfect for young kids who just like reading. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. History of the world in 100 pictures. I feel like this is a sticker book, but I need to check on that. It is very cool. So it starts at 18,000 BC to 2000 BC. That's the first pages. And then it just has 100 random facts about our world. And the most current is the year 2000. So lots of just really cool facts. Nice short little paragraphs and lots and lots of pictures. This one was one of my favorites. My first hundred words. So there's a couple books in this series already, um, counting to a hundred and um, this one, the first color, the book of colors, they had, they put the picture of the other books in the series in the last page. And I thought that was just like the coolest idea. So it's got a hundred words in it and just the most gorgeous illustrations. So it's very simple, very bright and very colorful. Lots of pages in that one. And Karis really wanted us to keep this one around the world mazes. So from the Amazon to the Antarctic, from the Himalayas to Hollywood, travel far and wide as you find your way through the selection of mazes from around the globe. 
Of course, my phone always rings when I'm in the middle of a video. I don't even know where it is. So it has a little blurb about the place that you're visiting. So this is Venice. There's river rafting. And then, of course, it's a maze. So you have to... Well, it tells you where to start. So Seth wants a souvenir to take home from his vi visit to Venice. Guide him through the crowds in St. Mark's Square so he can select a Venetian mask from the stall. So that... Seth is here, and then you got to find your way down to the masks. Here's river rafting. So lots and lots of pages, and then all the answers, of course, are always at the back. And the last one is a book and jigsaw set. So this is on the farm. Super excited. We love these puzzle sets. It comes with, like, a, a book. It's taped, so I don't really want to open it, but they, there is a book in it. Um, that's just kind of like a look and find book. And the first page is the puzzle scene that you have. So then you can open that book and look through it and find all the things from the pictures. And then there's a whole bunch of other pages. And at the end of it, there's actually a coloring page. So yeah, this is the book and jigsaw set. And those are all of the new releases for April. So I hope you enjoyed them and let me know if you have any questions about them. Have a great day.